Hello, fellow Novians. My name is Rob, and welcome to an episode of Rob Reads the Dev Blog. <laughs> so we got a new uh, forum post from NQ Deckard today with some really cool information, which we kind of knew was coming, but we didn't know exactly when or any other information. So now we have a little bit more tidbits. And uh, so let's go ahead and look at those notes. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of guesswork here and uh, maybe using some informations that is possibly wrong or possibly right. Let's call it speculation. So take it with a grain of salt. I could be wrong. I could be right. I could have insider information. I don't, but I could, but I don't, but I could. Maybe I do, but I don't. But maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and look at this dev blog, right? And we'll cover a few things here, and then we'll be done. So let's keep this brief and all that. No intro for today. All right. So looking over at the dev blog here and my wonderful browser, which you can see all my tabs. Oh, yeah. So let's get right into it right here. So this references back to the three-part dev blog series from April where they talked about server costs, costs, server costs and uh, their plans to ramp up um, and change the mining system and all that other great stuff. Um, a lot of us have been having uh, to deal with the sheer massive amount of information that the server database is trying to process at any given time. So if you're getting like me, those pending operations and invalid cell versions for days, uh, like I can't even mine right now. That's, that's how bad it is for me. Other people, not so much a problem, but apparently I am low on the totem pole to the database uh, seeing my changes um, and as NQ Deckard explained it when you dig a piece of dirt basically uh, it has to register that piece of dirt being removed on the database and then reflect those changes and get back to you so anytime you see that pending operation it's because the database is going hold on I've got like 40 other people that are mining right now and they're all making changes and I'm trying to add those first so Put yourself on hold. Um, and so, yeah, apparently I'm very low uh, in terms of when the database wants to accept my changes because I'll just sit there for 20 minutes trying to dig a hole. So uh, this little forum post goes into what we've got so far, which is the voxel compression, the uh, construct level of detail, the hauling missions, the job forums, uh, the first series of challenges, eh. And integration of Popcorn FX, which is very good. Um, in my opinion, I have liked most of the popcorns. I don't know about this, uh, you know, uh, excitement from the Twitch streamer community, but they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. I mean, who doesn't love making a black and gray ship and having this green horribleness? invading my color concept look at it just look at it um but the elevators and everything else is really cool i, I also love the chonk 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 of the factory if i get too close to it is, is that sarcasm maybe i don't know moving on um you can see all those changes live in the game or watch these videos or whatever. Anyway, I'll put a link to this blog post if you really want to click on it. So the cool thing, the interesting part that we're getting to right now is that development is underway on the next big milestone, codenamed Apollo, which is actually the same ship, as, same name as a ship I just finished. The update centers around the first phase of the major mining revamp, the addition of asteroids will provide rare and precious ore, which will in turn create opportunities for conflicts as the hunters become the hunted. To that end, PvP will receive a first wave of balancing changes and the introduction of shields. So keep an eye out for dead blog topics. 
So what does this tell us? This tells us that the mining changes are most likely going to come in waves, as we see here, the first phase of the Maging Mining Refamp um, will likely be the addition of asteroids. So why are they introducing the asteroids first and not doing the complete revamp, bot revamp um, of everything? Um, so if you don't know what the mining changes are going to be, basically the physicalized ore that is underground currently right now will be removed and replaced with digital ore, which does not exist in the ground and can only be harvested by using a mining harvester or a mining drill or whatever they want to call it, which you will put on your owned tile and it will... Uh, in the background, gather that ore up and put it into containers and stuff for your factories to use. This will have to be supplemented by mining asteroids. So it looks like they're going to be adding the asteroids first to make sure that they function correctly uh, before removing the only way of mining that we currently have so that they don't destroy the economy completely. Because can you imagine if they did the whole revamp at once and then found out that the mining uh, bots or the, the automated mining machines were not uh, doing ore correctly, or they found out that there was like a huge exploit with PVP where the PVPers could immediately find the people that are mining the asteroids. Um, yeah, we, we'd have some issues um, with factory production and the economy. Anyway, that's my take on it. I could be completely wrong, um, but that's my take. So it looks like the asteroids will be coming in first, along with PvP changes and shields. Um, also, on the official Discord, Deckard hinted before this dev blog post uh, that we were going to be getting new elements in the next update, though he wouldn't say what those elements are. Now we know that they are shields. So it looks like the first 0.26 update will include the shields, the asteroids, and the um, PVP changes. So that's all we have right here. If you'd like to comment in this thread, there is a comment thread you can check, click on to go speculate yourself uh, or say, what the hell? Um, I'm actually looking forward to shields um, as it will give people who design haulers that aren't made out of lead uh, a means of kind of protecting themselves from uh, the PVPers um, because we should be able to make lightweight ships and then rely on shields to defend them. Now, are those shields going to be expensive? Who knows? Uh, are they going to be on par with like AGGs that the price is going to be like a hundred million and that's going to add to the ship costs who knows this is all in the speculative realm um, we don't even know how asteroid mining is going to work are you going to have to get out of your ship and do it by hand and uh, leave somebody in your ship to watch the radar are you going to are they going to add some kind of mining implement to the ships that you can just get in a seat and mine like you can with turrets uh we don't know so i will be looking forward to that hopefully we will get all of these things on the pts and uh we'll have time to test them out and kind of report back on what is going on um, with these different systems and hopefully they will update the uh the uh, pts servers um, so that they don't have an image from January of this year uh, because I didn't start playing till like April and uh, yeah um, it helps uh, when your character actually exists and you don't have to start from scratch on a test server yes I know they give you a ton of money yes I know everything costs nothing on there but I really don't want to put a ship together from scratch um, because I don't have any of my blueprints or anything um, in order to have to test something that should be easily testable, All right? Anyway, that's it for me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up e thingy button. Uh, leave any comments in the description. Description? Leave any comments in the comments section. <laughs>
And uh, yeah, if you like this video and you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified every time I drop a video. Until next time, I will see you out there in space. Ooh, look, it's sanctuary. Stay safe out there. <laughs>